Hi, this is Claire from Arts Care. Um, today's workshop, I'm going to show you how to make some functional and not so functional forms out of objects that you might find in your recycling bin. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to grind each of these individual pieces that you have in front of you here. And I'm just going to talk you through how I created them. Now, for most of the things that you'll need to, to make this workshop, you'll probably need some masking tape, a pair of scissors, some PVA, some card, um, and for one of the pieces you might need um, a glue gun, but that's only if you have one available. Um, and also whatever objects that you choose to create your uh, sculptures with. So starting with this one here that I have my little plant in, this started life as a used jar of bath salts. So, I mean, you can just say it's a pretty standard jar. And then I got two leftover boxes of from my egg cartons, like so. And then what I've done is I have bent them around that way to get this lovely kind of protruding shape. And then what I've done is, I'm just gonna turn my camera down a bit. What I did with these, was I shape them around the jar and this is the piece that you would probably need a glue gun for because you need to be able to stick those down and hold them for a minute or two until that adheres and then you can cut another piece from your spare and match it at the back and then once you have that done then you can decorate with uh, acrylic paint and what I've done with the acrylic paint, especially for the first coat, is I've mixed it with a little bit of PVA glue just to help it adhere to the surface better. Then for some of the other pieces that I've done, I've got a little template here that I'm going to show you. And this template will be available to download. And some card just some colored card there to show you now for these pieces here that you can see have funnel shapes I'm going to show you so for the base of those I was using some her product containers that I have so one's a mousse bottle and one's a big conditioner bottle but I quite like the shape of these so I started with those and you can see that's that one there and that one over here and then I've created little necks to add onto the tops of the bottles. And so you can either do that with a toilet roll holder, or if you just want to get a bit of spare card that you have left and wrap it around and tape it with some masking tape just to hold it in place. And then when you get that sorted out, you can use your template, like so. And you cut that out. And then from that, you twist around so you kind of get the shape that you want of your funnel and then you tape it just hold it in place with a little mask and tape now what you can do if you've got time you can then use PVA to glue that down and then after the glue the PVA uh, sticks you can maybe peel off the mask and tape very carefully but if not don't worry just keep the mask and tape on just to hold it in place so then what I've done with that one here and then this one here at the back I've used another um, like a shower gel holder it has slightly different shape again so all these bottles had really nice shapes and I just kept it simple so I kept my just the bottle shape itself and then I just added a toilet roll holder on top of that and used a little bit of PVA and masking tape just to hold them in place and glue them together and then once that's all held together, you can start to decorate. And again, this last one over here, this unusual shape over here, this was used, I know lots of us are going through many a hand cleanser bottle. So what I've done with those is I inserted one into the other. I took the nib off one, inserted it into the other, and that created my sculptural shape like this green one here at the back and what I used was a slightly smaller version of this so I wrapped a little bit of card around cut it in half 
and I slipped it in to create this nice little even neck. And then again, I've used a little bit of PVA and let that sit for a while. So once everything is set, it has glued together, then you can paint it. And I've just used a range of, so I've just used a range of darker acrylic paints that I've mixed together. And you can take an old sponge, like one you would use to use for scarring for dishwashing, and you can create texture with that. And you can build up the colours and the layers over and over again, and that will give you a nice little textural finish and blend all the colours as much as you want. So you can see with these ones, I've done a lot of variation, different colours, different finishes. And you can see that this one here has some functions, so it can be used as a little plant pot. And that one in the back, I've just put in some um, dried grasses. And then some of the others you can't use at all. So if you put them into a little combination, you can have a nice um, array, a little ensemble on your shelf, just to create some use out of recycled materials and get creative at the same time. Okay, I hope that was of use. Thank you.